Well, when my husband first heard of the plan for tonight, he said, um, when people pay you a tribute, you feel duty bound to be dead. <laughs> Followed by, what night is that? I hope it doesn't clash with a Celtic game. <laughs> you may think he sounds ungrateful, but that's, that's really not it. In common with people who as children were led to believe that they were worthless, Billy has never really felt deserving of any kind of praise or appreciation. I'm sure he's questioning this whole evening right now. I'm just a welder who got away with it, he's probably thinking. Having never even begun to grasp the breadth of what he does, what it takes to be the extraordinary performer he is, I think he has massive improvisational talent, his profundity of human perception, but he's more comfortable with belittling what he does and endlessly moans about wanting to be Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> At the same time, he has an endearing, careless naivety about show business. I was recently astonished to see him inform millions of Americans that his latest movie, White Oleander, quote, really came to life after Michelle Pfeiffer shot me dead. <laughs> On the set of Last Samurai, the movie he's currently working on, Billy fell asleep in a rickshaw, inspiring Tom Cruise and Steven Spielberg to sneak up and wake him with a bang. In Hollywood, it's most unusual to find someone who prefers snoozing to schmoozing. <laughs> Billy, my husband, the mayor of Toy Town, <laughs> is in some ways a knight in patchy armor a contemporary Quixote, hilarious without an audience. Never trust a man, he says, who, when left alone in a room with a tea cozy, doesn't try it on. I have... <laughs> <laughs> now our family motto, and I have actually caught him peering at his domed reflection in the kitchen window. <laughs> when I wrote about Billy's life and how mistreated he was when he was growing up, he was concerned that people might scorn him reject him, or even worse, feel sorry for him. It's been profoundly comforting to him that it turned out to be quite the reverse. In recognition of the significant achievement of surviving his childhood, there's been an overwhelming outpouring of admiration, acceptance, and understanding from many of you who are here today, and uh, many who are watching this, and that's made him a happier man, and we're both grateful to you for that. But that still hasn't made him comfortable with praise. And tonight, I imagine there'll be abundance of that. Illuminating journeys into his impressive and colorful past, present, and future. Respect from peers, accolades from actors, fondness from friends, hat doffing from heroes. Billy, it's going to be tough. <laughs> but you're just going to have to put up with it.